Well, good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. I uh, hope you're having a great morning. Uh, glad to have you tuning in wherever you're watching from today. I've got a question for you. Have you ever noticed the amount of, of words or ever considered the amount of words that you speak every day? A recent study found that on average, women speak about 16,200 words per day and men speak about 15,600 words per day. So not actually that big of a difference between the, the two like we used to think, but think about how many words you speak. Because with that many words shared, it should make us pause to think about the content of those 15 to 16,000 words that we speak every single day. And a common refrain throughout the book of Proverbs is the damage that our wisdom can have or the healing that they can bring. And today in Proverbs chapter 12, verses 18 and 19, we hear this. It says, There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Now, there's a few takeaways here for us. And the first is that if we are rash and careless with our words, they're damaging and hurtful, cutting people like swords. Now, as I read this scripture, I instantly recall times where my speech has been rash and careless and how I've left behind damage as I've essentially cut people down with my careless and rash words. But the, the good news is that there's an alternative there. And that is that if we speak with wisdom and intentionality, we can bring healing, we can bring restoration to people. And that following that, speaking with wisdom and truth allows your words to have a lasting legacy. Now, there's a lot of different ways and situations that we can apply this to our life, but I wanna encourage you to first start with your family and how you speak to them and speak about them. And let me encourage you to choose to bring healing and restoration with your words and to speak with kind truth that builds a lasting legacy because it's far too easy to create a history of painful, cutting words with those around us. So today, speak with wisdom and peace. Choose to bless and not curse with how you speak to your family. And specifically, choose to bring words of healing to them as you have that choice of how you spend those 15 to 16,000 words per day. Have a great day to Calvary. We'll see you next time.